The example that you see here is actually an example from one of my med dosage live sessions. This is actually live session number four. But in this particular example, the way I do dose count, dimensional analysis, I like to start off with a goal. And if we look back at our problem, the question is asking how many milligrams per kilogram per day will the patient receive? So there's that goal, milligrams. And notice with the kilogram in the day, I call this the double slash. And we are essentially trying to build this double slash in our dimensional analysis. The double slash, whatever these two words are, I'm gonna put them both at the bottom. So here's our goal, and when I have a fraction in my goal, I focus on the top word first, milligrams. And as you can see here, I've put milligrams at the top of my first fraction in my dimensional analysis because that's the top word in our goal. And I wanna look back at my problem and hunt this word down, granted that it is there. In this case, we do see 750 milligrams. And what do we know about this 750 milligrams? It's going to be administered to the client every 12 hours. Well, notice how I wrote this fraction right here. The 750 goes with the milligram from our problem and the 750 milligrams is going to be administered to the client every 12 hours. Here's our first fraction. Now, looking back at our goal, we need milligrams at the top, which we have, but we need kilogram and day at the bottom. Right now we have hour, we need to get rid of that because that's not part of our goal. We need day at the bottom. Isn't there a conversion we can use? Aren't there 24 hours in one day? Why did I do this? We didn't want this hour at the bottom, right? Well, by us putting hour at the top, the hours cancel out. Now we have milligrams per day. And that is part of our goal here. Milligrams at the top, day at the bottom, but we still need kilograms at the bottom. Lucky for us here, the client's weight is given to us in kilograms. But again, be careful. Where do we need kilograms at in our goal? We need it at the bottom. And check out how I wrote this. I wrote the 84 kilograms at the bottom because again, our goal, milligram, that needs to be the only word at the top. We need kilogram and day to be our only two words at the bottom. We have that here. And now we've met our goal. When I meet my goal, I grab my calculator, I multiply all of my top numbers, and I divide by all of my bottom numbers. I always skip the ones because multiplying by one or dividing by one doesn't change a daggone thing. So doing that now on the calculator, 750 times 24, immediately divide by 12 and divide again by 84. Final answer right here, round to the nearest tenth. The eight is in the tenth spot. The five tells the eight to go up. Therefore, our final answer is 17.9 milligrams per kilogram per day.